Okay, so I was just trying out some new... I finally unlocked everything for Virgil except for the EX Provocation. I'm also trying a new setup at the moment with the mic. I've got a mic now. Well, I can use the mic now. So yeah, this is actually the PS4 version. I don't have a PS5. Pretty sure you can't even get them in the country I'm in right now. Uh, not without it being a very obvious fake. <laughs> so here I'm just using mostly Yamato for the first thing, or the Yamato, I, I say it wrong. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying various stuff. Again, yeah, like, I kind of accidentally popped the summon swords that way. I was actually trying to do something, but... I've always found with DMC games, they always say like towards the enemy, away from the enemy, and when the camera moves in an angle where you're facing towards yourself and a diagonal, I fuck up the inputs a lot of the stuff, so. That, that void slash move that I just did there is pretty cool. It slows things, but it takes a long time to come out and it's got a lot of recovery at the end, so. It does a lot of damage, though, so... <laughs> Still trying to work out these enemies with uh, Virgil. Sometimes I completely wreck them, sometimes I don't, and I'm just kind of sat there like, what do you want me to do with these games? Because, like, you know, there's ways of dealing with them as Dante and, like, V and... Uh, uh, maybe not so much V, but like uh, Nero, that just, yeah, one hits them when you, you, you parry them and stuff, and I'm just like, I just really don't get it with Virgil yet, but I probably will later. It's probably really obvious, and I'm just being stupid. Sometimes the simplest things just don't come to me with this kind of stuff. I really like Aerial Raid V. I've always liked Aerial Rave B. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take that. Oh yeah, now it seems to break shields with really regular like occurrences. Get minion stabbed in the back. Get round trip. This is this is shit I was doing in four DMC four SE where I was like round tripping with the <laughs> the the Force Edge, and then just going into the Yamato. So I'm like, it looks like he just threw one sword away and is just soloing with the other. It's cool, shut up. <laughs> like, <coughs> that, that downward slash was for no one. So here's Beowulf. I like Luna Phase. I've always liked Luna Phase. Luna Phase is cool. That would have been cooler if it was the final hit. But I was trying to, like... You can charge every move in the Beowulf like you always used to be able to, so... I'm, I'm not really sure about Mirage Edge. It's fine. It's always been fine, the Mirage Edge, Force Edge. But, like, I just... I don't know, man. It's not my favorite weapon. Obviously, I really like the Yamato, but... Let's have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got that taunt on screen. I thought I got both of these with the same, and I didn't, and that kind of slowed me down there. Never mind. I know the line's iconic, show me your motivation, but like the actual physical taunt is really stupid when you think about what he's doing in terms of action. He's bringing out his sword and just waving it around like, -hee -hee -hee, I have a sword. And it's like, it's really not that impressive when you think about it. Like any action would have been better. <clears throat> just him standing there and just be like, show me your motivation would be better. 
I always thought the action was stupid and kind of whack, but you know, whatever. Here I'm using the doppelganger. You could do some fucking master's level shit with the doppelganger. I was doing some stuff in the void and in Bloody Palace off screen, and you can slow or increase the speed of the doppelganger, which means you can do stuff where you kind of can create infinites. <laughs> like, so long as the character just like copies. Sometimes the doppelganger just goes off in a random direction because he doesn't hit the same things as you do sometimes and he just whizzes by. But if he's right next to you, you can get him to like slow down and like you do a launcher, you do a combo, you knock him down and the doppelganger does the launcher, bringing the guy back up into the air. So it does like these pretty sick pseudo infinites that are definitely not actual infinites. I got bodied. Just gonna keep Luna phasing and star falling until this guy goes away. Oh look, kick 13. I like kick 13, it's a good move. So yeah, this is only about the second or third time. <clears throat> Actually the second time since I uh oh. <laughs> since I oh <laughs> Still learning the tricks. The second time I've actually used Virgil in Bloody Palace. I was playing a bit of the campaign to like build up blood orbs, red orbs, whatever, to get all of his um, shiz. But like, uh, aside from that, it's basically I haven't done loads yet. So if if I do stuff where it, like obviously that wouldn't have hit at that range or like obviously I whiff, was going to whiff that or I keep taking stupid hits like I keep with these guys anyway. Um, <clears throat> because they do this salty charge thing where they get knocked down and go, no, you didn't win and Ryu their way to victory. <laughs> So these guys are known as the purple salty people to me. <coughs> yeah, and this guy, that guy, I just did the uh, storm sword. So you can do a lot with the summon swords, and I've always liked that. I really like blistering swords, but in this one, I really like the heavy rain sword because it does a great slowing thing. These Sonic the Hedgehog motherfuckers just like they're a problem and it I think it's literally here that I work out how to deal with them because I haven't encountered them in the main campaign yet. <coughs> and it's basically slow them with the the rain swords and uh, hit them whilst they're slowed and just stop getting hit by easy shit, which is what I'm doing here right now, so not leet strats, but um eh, give it time. I'll probably play way too much in this game and question my life choices. So yeah, smash this guy. Smashed him, bro. And now I'm just gonna do the basic combo on him, <laughs> like until he dies. Um, oh, that was a very wide clash hitbox because it felt like I wasn't near the model, but I really also, you saw there that the uh, overdrive or the drive Actually, the range clipped off before it could hit him. I, I thought that would be enough to slow or stop him and break the spines. And that's why I did that. And then it just didn't work. And if I'd left it a little while longer and he charged at me, it would have hit him. So interesting to know that the over the drive does not reach the whole range of the Bloody Palace stage. Um, <clears throat> can't remember because I didn't really use a drive a lot when I was playing DMC4, but um, yeah, I love the clash. I love clashing things. It's like such an underrated mechanic because it's like things that people don't think about. They're always busy trying to trick or royal guard and shit. And it's like the clash is just so much fun. That clanging noise. I just judgment cut my way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought, to be honest, I thought the Lunar phase was going to interrupt that move. That's why I went for that. I knew he was going to go down, but I thought, oh, it'll get him. This got him. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I wanted to hit that. 
I really wanted to hit all of his screen clears as well. Oh, that's the one where he's like, oh, should I give this book to myself or to Nero? I don't really know. I really love Wordsworth. <laughs> like, yeah, and you're like, okay. Good for you. Always thought of uh, Virgil Moore as a Robert Frost kind of guy, but you know, like, whatever. <laughs> or Poe. So yeah, this guy can just get fucking melted with your ranged options and like you can slow him and just stun lock the fuck out of him with round trips and like basically a lot of your arsenal just completely ruins those guys' days. I don't like fighting these guys because it just feels like a really boring fight where they stand there, then they turn around and go, I'm gonna hit you now, and it's a big dumb hit, and you're just like... I don't know. I feel like it's like pretty difficult to read when they're gonna do stuff because I don't really pay attention to this uh, demon's body language when he's gonna attack. He just looks the same to me all the time. I've never seen him do that butt slam before, and like... The air taunt for uh, Virgil makes him throw three swords down. That's pretty cool. <coughs> so it's also nice to actually have a lot of options to be dealing with the aerial things as well. I find that it's slightly easier dealing with them with Virgil, but like to be honest, Nero had a pretty good deal. Um, I always find it difficult for some reason fighting like lots of flying enemies with Dante. It's just I don't really like using his gunslinger style anyway, so it's just like, you know, I don't really like shooting the guns. It feels very slow and boring, and I think it's designed for you to be playing with the swords a lot more in this DMC. So it's always like, oh great, here's a wave of flying things. The least fun, but at least with Virgil you can just dash up to them and just start wrecking them. It's a little bit better. Oh, these nobodies are a bit annoying. <laughs> um, <coughs> but I'm just going to like show off the, the devil trigger poorly because I don't do any of the screen clears, but like I'm really just focusing on murdering these things as quickly as possible at the moment, and I'm not doing a great job of that even. You know, sometimes you do something and you're like, wait, what What am I doing now? How am I supposed to use this effectively? And you kind of stand around thinking, wait. Even using the doppelganger breaks throw moves in this game, so that's pretty interesting. Your doppelganger always uses Yamato, no matter what you're using. Using really weird blistering swords. <laughs> I use the summon swords in a very strange way that is probably not optimal, but it like, you know, it's just mostly like just fuck you, pile on sword damage, I don't care. Now this guy is really good fun to fight against as Virgil, because you have a lot of good trick options. And it just means that if you do it right, he literally can never hit you. Because he's always trying to hit where you were like about a minute ago. And you're always zipping around as Virgil, so it's like, lol, I'm faster. <laughs> like, you hit me there. But you see, even that didn't like, even though that kind of staggered me a bit, it didn't do enough to keep me in place for his final hit. What's more annoying about this enemy is that when you're fighting him, you really don't get many hits and you can't combo on him very easily. You can if you stun him with like a heavy hit like Dante's shotgun or the um, or some of like Nero's moves, especially his throw moves. But with Virgil, it just feels like you start slashing at him and he's like, chokes, I'm out. <laughs> and you're like, I feel like I should be using a different weapon. 
wrecked by four of them at once there <laughs> with one single lunar phase. I am kicking no one. No. No. Fuck you, don't dig away. Oh. There. Dead. Murdered. I killed him. Yes. Huh. Sometimes my PS4 decides to have a massive loading hang. <laughs> Especially for these ones where it's loading a new environment and you're like, oh. And like, it sounds like it's going to take off with the fans and you're just like, oh. Oh no, please don't break. I don't want to buy a PS5. I just bought a load of games on sale. Like, still work, please. I'll have to clean out the fans later. Oh. So I gotta use enemy step a little better here, cause like I forget enemy steps a thing. And in enemies like this, where they're just a big tower, you can just it's another man manu a maneuvering option. So here I'm just going around and around him with the Yamato at the moment, just trying to work out how. <laughs> like, oh, and I just took a punch to the face, so that was great. Um, that was a bad move, but fine. I keep trying to run round and round, and then I think, oh shit, that fucks up my concentration meter, so I shouldn't do that. I should just stand still, but then I get punched in the face again, so I'm just sat there like, oh, damn it. trying to work out what does damage because I've only fought this enemy once and I pretty much wrecked him pretty quickly. I don't know why I pointed away for that. Sometimes I point away by accident. I will throw loads of tiny stabby things at you. Like I said, very versatile trick capabilities. You can see that does a quite a big amount of damage, that Void Slash, so... Whenever he's in like a, I'm just gonna stand here and like, idle for a bit. As this boss does a lot, where he's like, look at how impressive my punch was. You can just throw one of those out and it normally does enough and slows him down even more. Like this character needs slowing anymore anyway. And I remember I have other weapons, and I go, oh yeah, shit, I need to do the bear wolf. <laughs> Lunar phase to the dick, and then kick 13 to the dick. Did a lot of damage, though. You see how quickly that melted the health bar down? Virgil does a lot of damage, and he's very hard to hit once you learn how to use him properly. Uh, he has a lot of ranged options with the summon swords, so much so that he really doesn't need any other ranged weapons and still does have stuff like round trip and projectile attacks like judgment cut and stuff. And I mean, when I was playing this on the campaign mode, I was just ev at the end of virtually every combo or halfway through a combo once that enemy had been defeated, just holding down the triangle and doing another hit. Now this is annoying because it's like, Virgil does not run. <laughs> like, the whole thing is like, I don't want to lose my concentration. I will not run. I will just summon the clone, banish the clone, because fuck you, I am not running and losing all my concentration. Virgil's too cool for that. He'll just cancel out your bullshit instead. And as you can see, that teleport has a fucking great range. We kind of plink across the screen, but it's still, I had to get a little closer to actually home in on him. It's more about the range of the sword that I ping at him to... Because the whole thing is that I'm teleporting towards my sword. Like, every time I home in on an enemy and teleport towards them, it's because they've been pierced with a Mirage sword. Uh, that's the whole thing. If, for people who don't know anything about Virgil's moveset. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to now try and... Uh, Use the doppelganger to melt him. 
because he's big, the doppelganger can't go speeding off into the distance, saying that he already has, but this it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Judgment cuts are really good for staggering and stunning people, so that's why you just put them on the end of everything, because then if something from sort of off screen appears, you can just stagger them off of you. Anyway, that was the first 20 stages. Uh, we'll see if I can do the rest later. 